Good morning everyone. On this very, very hot summer day, we are excited to present to you an amazing house on top of the hill in Cornwall Hill Estate. We don't tour Cornwall Hill often and this is such an awesome opportunity because not only does this house give us so much to talk about, but we also have Beulah who is here to help us with the, the interior design ideas. And everyone always asks us, but what about the furniture? How would I furnish a big house like this? This is a 1,200 square meter house. Well, this is the expert. She will talk us through it. Thank you so much. I am very excited to be here today. Thank you for having me. It's As beautiful. Marisha has said, my name is Bula. I am the founder of Beautiful Spaces with Bula, or BS with Bula, in short, an interior design and renovation firm based in Johannesburg. I'm here to showcase and tour this house with Marisha today and I cannot wait for you guys to see it and let's see what we can talk about to make this house personally yours. Let's have a look. <laughs> let's go for it. So as you can see we have this massive very imposing entrance. This I would call a two and a half volume at least, Absolutely. right? And we have a beautiful opportunity to do something with this fountain here. Yeah, so the fountain is currently not in use, but I mean, you could either mm -hmm. one, just use it as it is, or alternatively, this also gives you an opportunity to place a massive statue in here or a different kind of maybe plants, maybe the statue, anything that you want to do really to just make it more personal to you. What do you think, Marisha? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So that, that will be your personality showing right from the entrance. Absolutely, and saying, honey, I am home. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. But really gorgeous welcoming into now the interior entrance hall. And we have the exact same height of the ceiling. And you'll notice from the outdoor entrance, it's a curved, uh, uh, Metal beams. effect yeah. beams. There you go. Curved Thank beams. you very much. And they literally continue throughout the double volume space. We're going to see it upstairs as well. So many pieces of interior design finishes that mm -hmm. they've come up with when they did the renovation. I think it's absolutely lovely, especially what they've done with the beams because they just look so amazing. These are not beams that you're going to find anywhere no. else. I have never seen them myself. Mm. Just the custom curved beam system that they installed in there and then the sort of redwood ceiling that is absolutely beautiful. It's a vaulted ceiling, it goes all the way up. And I think it just makes the entrance that much more grand. Love it, vaulted ceiling. I wouldn't have thought of that. <laughs> My vocabulary is growing as well. <laughs> and walking along into the uh, formal lounge, we have so many lounge areas here, but the first thing that uh, comes to my attention is the fireplace. We didn't turn it on because we are already melting in the summer it's heat. Extremely hot. But imagine the look of that fireplace coming into the space. You know, once again, the architectural features mm. in this house are absolutely amazing. Because if you look at how they framed this fireplace, you've got a floating fireplace first and foremost. Where else would you find that? And it's sitting on these steel beams, which again, is not something that you see every day. And this definitely makes it a feature as you walk into the house. But it does so without blocking out the beautiful view that we have out back, which you'll see quite shortly. Talk about the view, absolutely. Stepping into the lounge area. And let's stay with the lounge and not look at the view just yet. <laughs> All the furniture here, this is the owner's furniture mm. who are now selling the house unfurnished. And guys, just a note, we often get asked the question, is this household uh, for, with the furniture or not. As a rule in South Africa, houses are sold without the furniture. However, as you well know, pretty much everything can be sold at the right price. So Absolutely. yes, people can purchase furniture in most cases, the mm -hmm. existing furniture. But how about we use this opportunity now to bring the character yeah. and um, the special unique features of the new buyer into the space. What exactly. would you do here? 
I think this is an absolutely lovely for sort of formal lounge space that you have here right next to the dining room. I do feel that maybe it's a little bit dark in comparison to the outside. So what I would do in this space is to bring in your lighter furniture. Yeah. So your light woods, your sort of beech wood furniture, have yes. like maybe a glass coffee table over here mm. just so that you don't take up all of that space visually you know yes. because we've got the indoor pool over here i would love to bring in those blues we've got a stunning backsplash tile that we have in the back over there where the waterfall is coming from mm. and i think why not use that as an opportunity to bring in those blues into this space 100 percent whites light blues think cypress think greece think the hamptons in Absolutely. pretoria <laughs> I can totally think the Hamptons, yeah, <laughs> that I can see it. And uh, this house is fully renovated. So when you uh, separate your mind from the furniture and you look at all the finishes, this is basically as good as a new house. Absolutely. Even though the bones are 20 years old, can you believe it? But it feels like this house was built yesterday because yes. of the incredible attention to detail mm -hmm. in terms of the renovation they did. They literally gutted everything out and just kept the beauty of the view, the beauty of the structure, but they brought everything brand new top of the range. I think it is absolutely incredible what they've done with the renovation. You can see that everything is quite sleek, it's quite modern, it's very up to date, but it's still plain enough or simplistic enough rather to give you as a new homeowner, as the new buyer, mm -hmm the opportunity to turn it into your own house you know you can do a lot with it so are we carrying on with the blues and beech woods in the dining room yes i think light oak over here start bringing in the woods quite a bit because then behind us we've got the kitchen right mm. which has this stunning stunning mass of 3.6 meter island which we definitely want to make a feature so i don't think anybody should take this away i think it's a beautiful feature of this house mm. so i say definitely keep this and then just have the wood sort of graduate. So yes. you've got like the darker woods at the back. And then as you go onto the yes. outside, you just got dark, maybe medium. And then the very, very light beech wood. So I say a light oak with the dining area place. I would definitely have a different sort of pendant sitting over here by the kitchen. So in as much as I like the simplistic look of this, I think with the natural wood mm. oak top, you definitely want to bring in some accent from the yes. top so i'd have maybe like a twig pendant that spans oh. right across and you've got bulbs hanging over it at varying oh. heights to create that interest you know absolutely <laughs> i totally i can see that yeah. and also to highlight all the tapas that you're preparing yes. for those massive parties <laughs> exactly it's a great great space to host i asked mm -hmm. the owners what what they love about the house and they said the entertainment value of this house mm. with um having easy parties of 40 50 people sure. and then the kitchen this is always my absolute favorite yeah. brand new kitchen as we can see a ton of cupboard space i love that but look at what they've done with that centerpiece because of that um again the king of the stove yes the, stove. <laughs> yeah. the best of the best is what you'll find yeah. in this house right and they've framed it beautifully with this brick with this beautiful brick wall which again brings us to those textures and those colors. You've got the darker over here and you flow through the house and you get mm. the lighter colors. But I think this is an absolutely beautiful feature. If the red is not for you, you can always paint it like a white wash or a gray wash or something that you might feel might tie in a bit more with the new, more modern kitchen. Because yeah. as you'll see, all the cupboards are like brand spanking new, soft closing doors, high mm. gloss finishes. Yes. And just one thing I wanted to note, Marusha, I love this entertainment space here. So behind this door here, you've got the fridge freezer yes. and then you've got a glass display. You've got your little nice smoking bar glass. fridge. Yes, with the mm. LED lighting into it. It's yes. very, it's got that nice ambient lighting. You can see the love, the entertainment. You can mm. see the liquor on display, the ice maker, and we'll see mm. more um, ideas further along the line in the house where you, you, you know that, uh, you know, the, the good, bottle of wine is taken in consideration yeah. when doing this whole renovation. <laughs> Absolutely, I think they love their wine. And, and a ton of concealed cupboards. I mean, you'll see that every single opportunity to uh, put more storage into the kitchen, mm -hmm. but at the same time, keep this uh, feeling that it is neat. You know, you don't see anything untidy here. It's neat and it's nice yeah. and open. And you've got your little coffee station over there. 
And further on, the size of that scullery. The size of the scullery, <laughs> Marisha. This could rival most kitchens. Absolutely. Definitely most kitchens. And it's got this beautiful picture windows that look out onto the garden, which I think is absolutely amazing because, you know, most times you're in a scullery, it's dark, it's yeah. dingy, and this just feels so light and open. Absolutely. And the exact same quality with your quartz tops, with the quality of your cupboards. And then around the corner, it's the scullery that keeps on giving. Right? <laughs> so the double door fridge over here. And something that we don't see in every house is this walk-in fridge yes. that has been built into the house. You could literally put yeah, a lot of stuff. All your fresh produce can go in here. We have a walk-in fridge, we have a walk-in pantry, and then we have an entire section which is double the size of a normal scullery and this is right. your laundry room. <laughs> So there's no mixing of dirty dishes and fresh and, linen. Yeah, and the clothes as well, I yeah. think, which is really nice that they've taken in consideration that you do need to separate the two spaces. And I mean, if yeah. you've got the space for it, then why not? Yeah, for a house of this magnitude and size, you absolutely want to make sure that not one of the spaces is feeling cramped, right? Definitely. Now, you notice as we go, so many lights and you might ask yourself, it's going to take me an hour just to turn lights on and off. <laughs> the answer is no. This house, as part of the renovation, had a complete redo of all the lighting and all the, uh, all the systems that, that run with the house were automated with Control mm -hmm. 4, which is the top of the range once again. So everything can be turned on and off from your phone, including an incredible multi-layered alarm system for your security, as well as your sound as well as like i said the lights and uh, it can even go further by the alarm telling you someone is walking in um, the patio area or someone's just entered mm -hmm. the garage area so they really have spared nothing no cost. to to no make cost. this a super secure and comfortable home absolutely and here we're now in the patio you've got two parts of the patio you've got the covered patio and the uncovered patio so it really depends where you want to sit where you want to entertain and what's lovely is that all of the stacking doors completely open up onto this area, making it easy once more to entertain those 40, 50, 60 people that you'd have around the house. This is a lovely, very long dining area that we've got over here. Nice for those lovely evening dinners, something in the middle of the week, hang out with your friends. And you know, while you do that, somebody can be jumping in the pool. <laughs> 100%. And I mean, you even see the replay dam from here which I think is absolutely incredible. The, the views here, and this is funny enough, one, uh, uh, one of the main features of this home when the owners bought it um, a few years ago, they said the view was just second to none. Mm. And one more very unique feature, which we're gonna see also later when we walk in the garden, is you have direct access to this copy. And literally from your house, you can st step into this natural park that is um, in the middle of Cornwall Hill Estate. Sit up there, check out the stars, sip your cocktails, uh, gather all your 50 friends, I would push to 100. <laughs> and That's a wedding, Marisha. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wedding. <laughs> and enjoy the, I'll have a wedding here every weekend. Yes. All right, no, I think it's an absolutely <laughs> lovely place. Um, the garden is expansive really you've got a really big house but you don't feel like you're shy or that they've short sort of um what is this there's a shortfall on the garden you still get yeah. an expansive garden an expansive mm -hmm. home um who needs to go hike up the mountain when you can just hike behind your heart i mean oh, behind so your yard <laughs> that's also <laughs> true we'll do a bit more of the garden at the end of this video when we've got our hiking shoes on yes. let's carry on with the house now because it just has so much more to offer. There's a lot to show in the space. It's a lot. What's really great also is you have a bit of the, the classic with the wooden frames on the windows, but they've introduced a lot of the industrial modern look as well, yes. just to mix um, the classic with the modern and um, just make it more unique. I think that's great how they've married the two styles. Oh, this, as you walk in, I would have thought, Oh. This turns on. <laughs> Would you look at that? <laughs> so just in the space here, before it automatically goes off, you've got the first powder room. It is a great space. It's quite large. It's a lot bigger than most powder rooms, really. And it's quite simplistic in how they've decorated it and designed it. 
got nice shelving over there and wall with artwork over here i think if you really want to spice this up a guest loo is where you can go wild really if you want to do that so i would introduce a wallpaper in this space just to make it a bit more fun Colourful. have the wallpaper carry on onto the space here add a mirror so that you see yourself as you walk out the house just something simple and just elevate the character a little bit great idea and coming along we're not going to stop here for long because on the one hand, it shows us the beauty of the fact that you can literally jump into that indoor pool from every room of yep. the house, but it is a bit noisy. But right across from the pool area is uh, office number one. This house comes with more than one office. So this is office number one or a TV room, whichever way you want it. What do you think? Yeah, I think if you want to have it as an office, keep it as an office, that's great. But then you really do also have the opportunity to have either like a ladies lounge. The fun thing is that there's two of these offices on opposing sides of the house, on opposite wings. So I think you could have a ladies lounge in the one and a cigar lounge in the other, you know, just so that everybody has a little bit of their own space. Or you could have a private lounge for you and your family if that's what you would like to do. And there's ample opportunity to decorate however you might like, introduce all the color that you want. Got great sliding doors over here. That's stunning, right? Yep. <laughs> You can see custom made, super solid glass, but smooth as butter. Mm -hmm. And for a house that is as old as it is, I think the introduction of the glass in the different spaces, mm -hmm. not taking up the, because I mean, imagine if this was a solid wall, mm -hmm. it would feel quite closed in. So yeah. I think it's a great and it's brilliant that they've decided to go with the glass openings everywhere. And I mean, it's a really, really large study. <laughs> it's massive. It's massive. But so is every single room in this house. Definitely not short of space. Definitely. So now you can see we're entering, I would say, the family quarters. So here I would say maybe you can have a couple of, uh, you know, t-shirts draped over. You know, you can <laughs> relax here. You don't keep it as pristine as in the other rooms. But what a beautiful way that they've displayed this. It's cozy because you have slightly recessed ceiling. But I love the fact that we still have uh, the, the, the skylight. I think it's lovely how they've done that space. Um, what would you add? Again, I love the vaulted ceiling here. As much as you love the vaulted ceiling and the skylight, just brings in a lot of light. I think that this place would do really well with an L-shaped lounger. So mm -hmm. instead of having separate pieces that sort of that you might run into, as I'd rather have just one big family lounge, mm -hmm. lounging couch with a coffee table in the middle and a nice big rug sitting around it make it cozy make it simple and then behind the tv we could then have a nice feature tv stand as opposed to just maybe having a tv that's just hanging okay. over there you know just to continue that feature wall that we have on the left side and we do it on the right side make it feel like it's one room and color wise are we sticking to the lighter blue and white shades i think in this room because this is the more cozy area of the house you do want to start bringing in the beiges and the warm browns and the chocolate colors this is where you come to relax and wind down, not necessarily to be, you know, la di da. <laughs> <laughs> so let's have a look at bedroom number one. Just uh, to start the count, we have five bedrooms in total in this house. And uh, we've got three bedrooms in this family wing. Each bedroom spacious enough for a queen size bed and a lounge. And each one with their own full bathroom and plenty of cupboard space. What do you think? Yeah, and as you said, they're both, I mean, all of the bedrooms, not both of them, there's five of them. <laughs> all of the bedrooms are really spacious. I think the first thing that you see as you come in here is the beautiful view of the garden. You can see far and wide. And I think in that space where they've got the bench, the freestanding bench sitting there currently, I would love to build in a mm. bay window bench so that you can just sit there with a good book put in a plant in the corner mm. and just watch you know the sunset the sunrise and see everything that's happening around you enjoy the garden enjoy the calm and peace and serenity of this place i think it's absolutely wonderful there's enough room here to have a vanity if you want oh, a yes. space to get ready you can also include like a study table if this is one of the children's rooms so you've got a lot of space to play around with it it does not necessarily have to be a seating area for grown-ups you can have so many different places or so many different things that you do with that space and the bathroom each of the bathroom was renovated in line with with the others so th they do have a very similar look and feel and style mm -hmm. would you change something or just add on 
I would say that depending on the personality of the person in this room. So if let's say maybe this is a boy's room and you want to add a pop of blue, but not like a typical yeah. blue. You know, yeah. you might have a different wallpaper in the bedroom uh, flanking oh. the headboard. And then you want to bring in those touches of blue into the bathroom, mm-hmm. either in a feature tile in the shower or oh, if you yes. don't want to go as far as doing retiling, just add a vinyl wallpaper onto it add some art into the room. You could do so much with it. Add fancy lighting. I love having fancy lighting in the bathrooms because I don't think bathrooms should be boring. Fancy Mm -hmm. lighting and vinyl wallpaper. This is completely new concept for me for a bathroom. So love it. Because vinyl wallpaper, just so you know, is waterproof. So you can have it in the bathrooms and it will survive the steam and the heat and all of that. So you can definitely do that. I think we've come a long way in terms of materials and the technology that's in our materials now. So you can do a lot with it. And this is why we need you in a, a house like this, just to make it as unique as it should be. Yes, definitely. Kids bedroom number two. So would you say bring the character of your second child? Yes, or so I definitely be, yeah. say these rooms almost look identical if you look yeah. at them. Um, so it's definitely a matter of just changing up the character based on who is occupying the space. Okay. And then that's, that's really all. And the bathrooms almost the same again but i love the fact that even though these are the kids rooms so to speak your showers are massive your everything mm-hmm. in the bathrooms is the same top quality that you have uh, that you will be seeing shortly in the main suite and you'll see here that there's been a great use of space in the bathroom because you've got your tub over there shower over here but nothing feels cramped at all and then the ceilings go up and up and up forever and ever and then again we bring in that skylight and that vaulted ceiling which really makes the bathroom feel a lot more massive than it actually is so just leading into it look at this unique light feature as well as the skylight just highlighting it further mm-hmm. what do you think of um, you know just almost like making a curtain that opens into yes. that main bedroom yes it's yeah. almost like a privacy setting that you've got yeah as you come into the main bedroom, it lets you know that you've now come from the one side and you're coming into a different side, which is now the main suite that we have over here. Yeah, Mm -hmm. it's not a bedroom, it's a suite. It's definitely a suite. It's an apartment. (laughs) It's 120 square meters, guys. I mean, uh, this is not a small room. It's the size of a three bedroom apartment in Polo Fields. So what do you think? I think that the space one, like you said, is absolutely massive. The light behind you is fantastic. Mm-hmm. It doesn't even look like a light. I mean, it looks like a piece of art. And I think that's why they've hung it where they've hung it in front mm-hmm. of the art as well, because, you know, it's a standout feature. So I think this is a beautiful piece to have in the house. I hope that this will come with the house at least. <laughs> and you- It's a fixture. <laughs> so Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> in the lounge area here, you've got quite a big lounge space um, for the parents. And this is obviously your own private lounge. If you want to add a TV to the space, you can definitely do that. I think this will be a great place to come sit, wind down with your loved one. Um, and you've got a little seating area over there. But they brought some blue here. They definitely brought in the blue, which I think they should do more of because you'll see it even in the cushions. Yes. But the blue is now making a feature. I would also add a rug to the space. Mm-hmm. Again, just to add that warmth mm-hmm. so that you're not walking on the tile. Um, But also, again, to bring in the feeling of coziness. Just sit here, wind down at the end of a long day. This is where you come and sit and and relax with your loved one. (laughs) What do you think of this dressing room before we've even reached the bedroom? This dressing room is basically second to none. Again, you've got the glass sliding doors Mm -hmm. coming, just demarcating the different areas between the lounging area and the dressing room. I love that they've kept it white. It's minimalistic. It's bright because you don't have any natural light coming into this space, it's good that they've gone with that color mm-hmm. and I would keep this color. I yeah. think the only thing that I would change in this space is I would have a glass top over here as opposed to having the solid top because then that way you can see all of your jewelry in the drawers, mm-hmm. you can see your sunglasses, your accessories yeah. without having to open each individual drawer to see what is where, you know, it will be easier for you to pick and choose if you just look at it and then you're like, oh, that's what you I'm could wearing today. You probably even just add another. Mm-hmm. Or you could add another. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Another you could level. add another level to this. Yeah. You know, but overall, it's really beautiful and clean. It's got the two mirrors for the two different people. Assuming that this is a his and hers, I would make it all for me though. Yeah. <laughs> and one thing I always love to see is sliding doors in the cupboards because I 
tend to forget to close. I'm yeah. very good at opening. <laughs> With a sliding door, at least it doesn't, you don't have these gaping doors everywhere. Absolutely. And it again adds to this volume of space. Yeah, I think this is absolutely lovely. The light that they've used in there is great. You've then got your little vanity area over here to get ready put on your makeup and everything and it's got the LED lights in it which yes. I think is lovely and the most incredible bathroom behind the bathtub is really what I want to focus on in this bathroom you've got that backlit onyx stone which is a natural stone by the way guys and I think it's an absolutely lovely feature to have you're again you're not gonna find these things just no. anywhere these are like custom pieces each stone is different when it's cut so I think it's a really lovely place to come in and relax with the skylight, yes. natural light coming in. If it's at night, you're watching the stars. Yes. I think, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful place to come and, um, and relax. Again, winding down. It's truly mm. magnificent. And I mean, this is nature's art. Um, like you said, it is completely unique. As much as the rest of the house is completely unique. Every room is just so different, but I just can't get over how much volume and space you've got. You've got a two rain showers indoor, You've got a double rain shower outdoor as well. Unheard so, of. you know, your 40 people party can literally <laughs> come into the bathroom as well. No, definitely. I think in most places, I mean, you have the, the double shower indoors, but very rare is it that you have a double shower outdoor and it's got a bench also for you to sit on. Yes. You know, so if you want to sit out there mm. and chit chat with your person, <laughs> that's what you can do because the space there is provided. And then you come back into the bathroom and you take some heated towels from the heated towel rails um, mm. and yeah I think that's just a really nice comfort element to it you've got your double vanities for both the people that are in this room with lots and lots of space I would say maybe add a little bit of um, an art piece yes. above the shelving area over there just to sort of mimic what you've got the onyx stone on the opposite side oh, so yeah. that you've got the color on the one side and you again pull the color on the other side right yeah yeah, not much you need to do in a bathroom to because you already have this high quality finishes and fittings. But yeah, like you said, a bit of natural stone and your vinyl wallpaper, yeah. which I'm now obsessing about. <laughs> Maybe okay. we should do a house with one of those. We must. We should. Okay, so don't look at the bed. <laughs> the bed is there's going. No bed. <laughs> <laughs> but look at the size of your bed. You can have your extra length, king size massive uh, bedside tables mm -hmm. already you have this feature wallpaper here but i'm sure you're gonna say more can be done i think you can definitely add your now personalized artwork over the bed because that's where i mean this is now your room right this is your personal space so if it's a wedding picture that you want to have maybe have three of them because the space allows for it mm -hmm. in black and white just so that it's not overwhelming in terms of color yes. i think that would be a great space to have it um to my right over here They've got another recessed wall framing in a beautiful artwork. It's made of three pieces um, and this lovely server table that they have over here. But I mean, again, the furniture is not going to be here when you buy the house. So I think if you are one of those people and I don't agree with this, don't like TVs in the bedroom. But if you want to do that, this is the perfect place that you would want to have it. There. <laughs> exactly exactly so you don't need another He's one in, in the bedroom yeah but if one wants to watch real housewives and the other wants to watch a game of real soccer then man. hey <laughs> then why not but i think that's a lovely wall head over there that they have yeah in the back there mm -hmm. i hope they keep the the, the, the they leave this um, lampshade or because it's such a feature all of I the really light fittings it. in this home yeah. are really really amazing and it's nice that you've got the little cozy corner over there where you've got um, your fireplace your wood burning fireplace at that I think that makes it extra cozy and I mean you've got a second lounge in the bedroom um, I think that <laughs> again it's a lot bedroom of room, suite with two space. lounges its own patio area yeah facing your garden it gives you an idea how high up you are here. You are literally the highest house, I think, in Cornwall Hill Estate. A quick note on it, over 400 properties in Cornwall Hill, ranging from just under 1,000 square meter to 10,000. So we are, like I said, the castle on the hill. We've yeah. got the 10,000 square meter property on top of the hill with the most amazing views and the house of 1,200 square meter. Yeah. So, and as you come in here, you'll notice that these bulkheads have the recessed LED lightings. 
in them i think that's absolutely beautiful but if you really really want to take it next level and you really want to make this pop i would paint the inside of that bulkhead a completely different color ah. so a contrasting color maybe a charcoal or a mm. dark chocolate depending on what you want to do just again to bring in that coziness of the bedroom you've got a charcoal wall on the one end a charcoal stucco wall and i would say why not take that color and just you know pull it to the ceiling so that you've got something different in here and something that's not everywhere and once again why for a property like this you need an interior designer definitely it will really bring it to life and it's interesting really i mean we we get a lot of people saying but why can't i find the place with the furniture yeah and we have had people asking the question online now is can i look at the plans and um, give them to an interior decorator and then they come up with an idea what would you say about looking at plans versus maybe looking at the space or meeting with the people and talking them through how would you go about it so it's all a process that happens together right one doesn't happen in isolation of the other so we don't look at plans in isolation and then just work on the plans alone I need to meet you, get to know you, see what kind of person you are, okay. what you like, what your interests are, mm -hmm. and then we can look at the plans and say, okay, maybe if we don't have access to the house as yet, then we work based on the plans, but still bringing in your personality. Because the whole feel point it. of interior design is not to give you my take on things, it's to make your house feel more and look like, more like yours. While we're talking, stepping up into the second floor, floating staircase they've brought in a bit of wood but the rest yeah. is all this natural stone solid uh, st steps leading to the upper level again that marrying of the two styles you've got the wood you've got the marble steps and you've sort of got the industrial street steel with the balustrade mm -hmm. i think it's beautiful how they've made that happen i love this expansive wall this expansive wall for me just screams opportunity have it in a different color to the rest of the walls just to make it pop make it exciting yeah. you've already got this sort of redwood ceiling that's happening over here but i think as you walk into the house you do want to look at this wall put a lot of art onto it make it yours maybe put some baskets onto it mm. you know i don't know if you've ever seen where you've got that basket art that goes onto the wall no i must actually yeah I'm i think yeah i think we could consider something like that for this space you know to have some basket Great art idea. maybe in the shape of a map of africa or the map of wherever yeah. <laughs> and you'll see we've got a map in the space which is why i'm saying what i'm saying just to mimic those things make the yeah. house speak as though it's one and speaking of maps i mean look at the view that unfolds in front of your eyes as you step up we we see it when we downstairs in the patio and from the living room and from all the bedrooms but it really opens itself up when you step upstairs into which is what lounge number is this lounge number four that we into yeah. now we're now in lounge number four <laughs> <laughs> this view is absolutely absolutely incredible be it an overcast day be it a bright sunny day be it because you want to watch the stars the balcony is massive, which again, entertainment. Yeah. Lots and lots of entertainment space. Put some outdoor furniture over here. Mm. I mean, on the inside, I would have like a games room. Balcony continues onto the, the grass area over there. Yeah. I don't know if you saw. So we're seeing the arch theme with this door, with our entrance door glass, as well as the ceiling. It's, it's, it's just beautiful how the architect managed to keep all these features they're subtle but it's it, everything flows so well together i think they definitely speak to each other it's very intentional mm. in how this house was built and you can tell that it was built and renovated with love you yes. know so this area here where you've got your lounge and a tv i would have a massive tv in this place because this is where you come to watch you the love big your game TVs. I love my I've TVs. Like so far. <laughs> I love TVs my everywhere. TVs. But they have one here. All I'm saying is that I would have a really big one in this space here because this is where you want to now come hang with the boys, play pool, play a little bit of foosball, have some interesting art on the walls. You know, if you love cars, you can see that there's a little racing car there. If you love cars, then decorate with the cars in this space. Mm -hmm. Maybe have a wall full of, you know, those little model cars. Oh, yes. And have a shelf that just displays that if that's something that, you know, that sort of rocks your boat. I would definitely, though, use this area over here to have a bar because ah. you want to have a wet bar upstairs. You don't want to have to go all the way downstairs to grab a drink and wash your hands. You want to have that area 
outside here as well. So at least we've got the space here that gives you that opportunity. Have a little prep bowl, have your shelving, your wine displays. We know they love their wine displays in this house. You we'll know. see a lot more of those. Exactly. Keep so watching. I think let's bring it upstairs as well and make this a full, fully catered entertainment area on its own. So I would call these bedroom suites again, one on either end of this upstairs pyjama lounge. So let's start with the one on the left hand side, lounge area, queen size, ensuite. And notice what they've done here with those custom made. I'm trying to get the automated lights to activate. There we go. So the lights come up automatically, but notice here the doors are made out of wooden steel. Where downstairs we had the glass, now here mm. we have the wood. And now here we have a lot more interest also. Oops, that's, that, it's too smooth. <laughs> We've got <laughs> a lot goes. more interested with the, uh, with the wallpaper, the murals. Yeah, with the murals. I think this is fantastic because then it speaks the interest of whoever it is that occupied this room. Um, I really love the marriage of the wooden doors, the wooden barn doors. It's now starting to feel a bit more industrial, yes. a bit more country than it does downstairs, whereas downstairs feels a bit more modern, yes. a bit more contemporary. But you'll see what they've done with the ceilings also is to have the recessed lighting, but this is color coded, yeah. which is not the plain one. So this adds a little yeah. bit that layer, right? Yeah. And again, I would have this recessed area just changed into something else. Maybe have a grass cloth wallpaper. Hmm. This room is special in that it overlooks the pool, the indoor pool. Yeah. And I would love again to now bring in those blues, those colors, you know, maybe you could have yeah. something light blue on the ceiling. Um, this area here, lots of room to have a built-in study area. Mm -hmm. um, have a little office of your own, depending on maybe this is a teenager's room, you know, then this would be the perfect place to have all of your books, your study material, all of the interesting things that would, would and I just want to uh, point something out because we're talking about bringing the character and each person's personality. Uh, these people, and you're going to see later on why I said, uh, uh, love their mo motor cars. And you will see this garage. You guys have to see this garage. Amazing. This is the bonnet of a car. Yeah. And they've made a desk out of it. This is the ultimate personality bringing. Definitely. I doubt much homework was done there, but I'm sure he <laughs> loves his desk. I'm sure that desk is one of their prized possessions. Because, sure. I mean, you would never find that anywhere else. You'll also notice that these bathrooms then start bringing in the warmer colors. So you've got like your wood look tiles and your sort of cement looking tiles. Again, full bathrooms once more. And I think they've done these bathrooms up perfectly. I wouldn't change a thing. Beautiful, and we're gonna head on for the next one, and you'll see a very similar um, room in terms of the size and the, the just the general style of it, but again, different personality. This is a different person that lives here. So you would think that this one is more into engineering and the <laughs> the gears and the likes. This one does come with a little fireplace, which I think is really cute. The other the one had it as well, area. behind oh, the behind the desk. I yes. must have missed it. Yes. I must yeah. have missed it. Yes. So you've got again that industrial feel, the barn door in the space, and the bringing in of the personality with the wallpaper. This one, however, doesn't overlook the pool; it overlooks the garden and the expansive views that go on forever and ever. Your own private astroturf balcony. Mm -hmm. How amazing is that? Absolutely beautiful. Lots and lots of space in these bedrooms. Mm. Um, and you'll see what I really love about this house is that there's so much privacy. So yes. er it's almost as though everybody has their own wing. You get that wing, you get yes. that wing, and yes. everyone has their nice own space. You really don't have to be in each other's faces all the time. Lots of character in this bathroom. And I mean, you can add or take away here and there depending on what your preferred style is. And what's really great is I'm, I'm looking at uh, the basins, the countertops there. They've used the same solid pieces of wood that we see downstairs in the kitchen counter. Mm. And they've created this. I saw it downstairs in the um, uh, guest toilet and we're seeing it also here in the bathroom. So there is congruency throughout the, the, the space that we see. Definitely that continuity that you have in the house, mm. these color changing LEDs. I mean, one moment it's pink, one moment it's green. 
you know who wouldn't want to stay here teenager <laughs> definitely and, a teenager patch and one uh, other reason why i know it's a teenager patch is because from the balcony you have an escape route uh -huh. so you can take stairs <laughs> out of the house and your parents will never know <laughs> so this house has a lot more to offer so let's head back down and we're gonna head towards the kitchen because it just keeps on giving and we're not finished yet as you walk through the passage on now what is the left wing of the house you've got this wall over here which i think again is a lovely opportunity to bring in some art yeah. you know you would have a nice big piece over here just to introduce you to the other side of the house yeah mm. and notice the shadow lines everywhere so this is a modern modern house. very modern in how they've done it absolutely and this is uh, study number two although mm -hmm. i would probably call this rather the cigar lounge or the uh, uh the games room yeah. i would i would the, totally the boys use lounge. this as a games room i think this would definitely pop as your cigar lounge your games room mm. close enough to the entertainment area still separated by the glass doors if you want to have private conversations there is an entire wall here which functions as a wine cellar lots and lots of space for all your bottles um, space for your cognacs your brandies if you want to display those as well i think yeah, I think it's just a really lovely, expansive space. You don't have to have the desk in here. Um, you could have it in the other study if mm. you want. But if you also do want to marry the two, you could have like a small lounge area. And then on the other side, have your desk and your books over here. I think they really have catered for whoever wants to use the space, however they'd like to. But I would say keep the wine barrel because the wine barrel is definitely an Special. amazing feature all of and those. you're right next to the kitchen i just want to point out so if you're getting peckish it's literally a step away and yet more opportunity to display i think this would be for the special wine and it has a door so you can potentially lock it if, <laughs> if your teenagers are particularly adventurous <laughs> but yes it's own wine cellar as well a door you can quickly step outside to it but now this is the feature the feature garage that i think i've never seen a garage like this so yeah. let's head on and see it and this garage from the outside can be very deceiving because yes. it almost it looks like a four car garage but once you step inside then you realize just how much more you've got a full backup system over there so you don't have to worry about things like load shedding yes. since we are in south africa massive yes massive solar installation here but this garage can um, can pretty much fit about eight vehicles and if you are very good with your driving and your usage of the garage you can literally stack even more vehicles because what we've got here so we've got this double feature where the cars can go back to back you have another door opposite the main four doors this allows for the flow of the vehicles to drive through yes and then look at this i definitely haven't seen this before this is a car lift so you would drive your car this lift will come down you drive your car or your quad or any wheeled vehicle Whatever that you, you have goes up and it gets stacked on the second floor so this is a double story garage how awesome and i think if you're one of those people that have a supercar in their collection and you want to display it this car lift is the perfect place to do it mm. because that's not the kind of car that you drive every day that's the kind of car that you take out on a sunday for a nice sunday run to hard to be yeah? sure. so this is where you bring up your car put it on the lift and this is where you display it and that entire second floor section all these quads fit on there mm -hmm. together with five million tires as you can <laughs> see and this garage because it's special it also comes with its own bathroom so you have your own shower and toilet in the garage <laughs> the automated light will come on in your garage as well it's very very cool and i mean just to add on to all the features of this house so they they've built a special system in terms of lightning because we're on top of the hill and we are in Houting, where of course there's a lot of uh, lightning when those beautiful thunderstorms hit the the entire house is encased in this mesh that dissipates any form of lightning so you can enjoy being on top of the hill through a thunderstorm without worrying about getting struck <laughs> <laughs> so let's step out from one of the side doors 
because it's such a big property, they've created the opportunities to step out from all directions and they've done a little herb garden here. And it smells absolutely fantastic. I know you can't smell it through the screen, but it smells absolutely lovely. And just to get a quick look at the front of the house and we can walk to the back and have a look at what we've got there. Just a note again on security, we have the multiple layers of security. You can see all your solar panels up here. The tech in this house and the quality of all these ingredients that make it so comfortable and so safe to live in is second to none. It is absolutely the best of the best. And to top it all off, you're in Cornwall Hill Estate. Next door to you is Cornwall Hill College, which is the school that made them actually move here. They came here because of the school. They said their kids had the most amazing grades and they finished school and now they're off to university. And uh, it has been the most incredible environment for them. A quick note, we have two bedrooms in the back here with um, shared bathroom and uh, kitchen quarters. And this is for the staff because a big property like that, you will require more support. And again, super easy to emerge into the garden space. Note what they've done here with, um, you've got the grass, but you also have the pavers because it allows you to bring vehicles to the back. And this is the back of the garage where we have this two-story garage space. And a ton of extra space for your vehicles. I think it's great that they've included having the pavers meshed in with the grass because from afar you have the look of the green grass yeah you know which makes it feel nice and serene it's uh, quite quite serene yes. but when it comes to practicality it's definitely yeah. practical and you can drive on it without actually damaging your grass and worrying about it so i think that was exactly. a very clever use of space very use much of materials so. and there is the gate leading into that copy like I said, the only house on the estate that has direct access into the copy from here, where you can go for your hikes and uh, your sundowners. But as you said, you've got big enough of a garden to do all your walking around here. Being in January, I would say your New Year's resolution, you can do some hill running yep, up and definitely. down. Definitely. I think two of those runs and I'm done for the day. <laughs> but definitely your 10,000 steps a day will be covered just by walking your property. Now you've got multiple kilometers that you can put in here. You can definitely put in the work and you won't ever have to leave your house. And what, uh, what do you think of the facade now looking at, uh, I mean, you could, we would call this the back of the house, but it isn't really. This is the social element and mm -hmm. what your guests see when they come and entertain at your space. I think this space here is really beautiful in how it's done. Uh, the different curves and the different just the architecture of the house is absolutely beautiful you know it's not a straightforward sort of typical modern contemporary house and if there was ever any reason to look at this house as a potential place to make your home I think that should be one of the reasons why a lot of the houses that we get these days are just your straight lines mm. it's really quite straightforward clinical almost yeah but here you've really got a lot of character without bringing it you know into the 1950s I can't wait to go further because I want to see what it would look like if your car is driving up and you are one of these multiple guests, you know, one of the 40 cars that will be coming up here. Who are visit. lucky enough to be invited to this place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the step up as you go into the garden? I think this is really beautiful, just the stone wall that they've created because it's not your typical retainer wall with the concrete blocks. Yes. You know, that gets quite a bit boring, but the way they've done this, it makes it feel as, as though it was always there. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> and also now that we are standing here and we're seeing this double volume glass uh, for the indoor pool, you, you're seeing the modern, you're seeing the beauty of the, the mm -hmm. entire structure. I love the fact that, you know, as you look at these bedrooms here, from the main bedroom and the other two bedrooms and then the lounge area. It, it almost looks like it's individual houses. This is how big they are, but um, everything just again 
works together and then grows into this big pool area and then the double volume of the house. It speaks again to that individuality that we spoke mm. of earlier in the video, right? That privacy, that sense of privacy yes. that you get. It looks like individual houses from the outside. It feels yeah. like individual spaces from the inside, but somehow it really all just works together. And this outside shot here really gives you that perfect, perfect marriage of like what is a heritage home in essence. Yeah. It's got all of the qualities of a heritage yeah. home, but it's got the modern fittings and modern fixtures that one would actually want to have in the late 2020s. So thank you so much for doing this very long tour. I think this is probably one of the longest tours we have, um, I have personally done, but I appreciate you being here. You opened my eyes to so many new opportunities that can be applied here to make this home unique for each person that lives here. And thank you all for watching and I hope you watch to the end and I really appreciate you. Thank you, Marisha. Um, it might have been quite a long tour, but really this house had so much to give and mm. there was so much to see and explore and potential options as to what you could do if you made this house yours. So I think do look into it definitely and contact Marisha. If you would like to contact us for design services, it is at BS with Bula on Instagram and Facebook, www.bswithbeulah on the website and you can just submit a form over there and we will get in touch with you. Thank you once more. Remember to subscribe, like and comment. <laughs> and buy the house. Definitely. <laughs>